everyone. Here's another new recipe. It's a creamy chicken and green pesto Italian dish. You'll need one pound of the ground chicken, one bag of the shirataki spaghetti noodles, one small jar of green pesto, goat cheese, a bag of the frozen riced broccoli, pink salt and pepper, oregano, and Italian seasoning, a fry pan with spatula and cover, a big pot, and a strainer. I just don't have it in the picture here. Start by putting in about an inch of water into your fry pan on a heat a little higher than medium, and then roll out 12 chicken meatballs and stick them in the water. Add over it heavily pink salt, light pepper, light Italian seasoning, and light oregano. Cover and let cook. Then let's heat up our riced broccoli in the microwave for six minutes, depending on your microwave. And then open up the shirataki noodles, put them into a strainer, and then we're going to wash them under cold water for three minutes using your hands. And you'll see a little video here where I'm using the hands. Do it for at least three minutes to get that smell off. Then use a kitchen scissors if you'd like and cut it up. It's just easier to eat. Check your meatballs, flip them, cover and continue to cook. Then take your big pot and you wanna turn it on a heat around medium. Add in your noodles, your cooked riced broccoli, the full jar of your green pesto, and it was a small jar. It looks like 6.7 full ounces. And then you wanna cut up or break up um, the goat cheese so it's all crumbled and put that inside. And then give it a good stir, letting the cheese melt down. You're gonna add over it heavily pink salt, light pepper, light Italian seasoning, and light oregano again. And then you're gonna give this a good stir and let it just cook down. Then let's plate up. Look at those two plates. And you can add Parmesan if you like. That's optional, I've got Parmesan here. And let me tell you, this dish was absolutely delicious. My husband loved it. You definitely got to try this dish out. I think even kids would enjoy this one. And for the entire carb count for the whole pan was 20 carbs. So my plate was 10 along with what I ate with it since I do one meal a day. Everybody keep it keto.